Hi there, my name is Jacqueline Russell and I'm the PM on the MakeCode team. And this morning I'd like to show you a really cool integration we've done with MakeCode and Microsoft Teams. So let's get started. So here I am logged in as a teacher into my Teams account. And you'll see that one of my classes is this Intro to CS class. And I can create an assignment for my class by clicking on this Assignments tab here. And then I'll create an assignment. I select the class I want, Intro to CS, and then I can create my programming assignment. So here I'm going to ask my students to create a maze game using MakeCode Arcade. So I'll ask them to use the tile map blocks to create a maze game. Um, and you'll notice here I can click on add resources. And when I do, I see MakeCode listed as one of the options here. And um, all of the code editors that are available um, to be included in the Teams assignment is listed here. I'm going to select Make Code Arcade and I'll name this Maze Game. All right. Now I can open up this attached um, Make Code file and edit it as the educator. For example, I can add some comments or starting code for my students. So once it's opened up, and you'll see it looks like the Make Code editor uh, embedded right here within Teams. Um, I'll add a comment, so please create your own maze game. And maybe I'll get them started uh, by giving them a hint as to which, um, which blocks they'll need to use, for example. All right, and then I can click close. I can even add a custom rubric here. For example, if, for, if I've made a make code rubric, I can attach it here. All right, and then um, I can assign it to specific students in my class or all students. And then I can also set a due date. So let's set this for Wednesday. All right, and then I just click assign. Now I'm logged into Teams as a student of the Intro to CS class. So if I go into that class, I can see I've got a new maze game assignment. So I'll go ahead and click View Assignment. And then I can actually click on this Make Code file here and it will open up the Make Code Editor. And it looks like my teacher has left me a comment as well as a hint as to which blocks I should use to um, start my maze game. So I'm gonna go ahead and just um, do a little bit of coding in here. So um, for example, I wanna set the background color of my maze to um, green, and then I'll go ahead and draw a little bit of the maze here. Um, and then just kinda of draw a little bit of this maze. Maybe we make a dead end here. All right. Um, and then I know I also have to use some of these other uh, tile blocks for my program. So for example, I'll um, make the walls of my maze and um, set the walls to be, let's see, how about um, some nice rocks. All right, and set the wall on. Then I can take a look at my code here in my simulator. I'll continue coding my maze game, but once I'm done and I'm happy with it, I can go ahead and close this uh, and then um, hit turn it in. So here I am logged back into Teams as a teacher. I'll open up my Intro to CS class and click on the Assignments section of my class. Here I can see in my Maze Game assignment, I've got um, four out of my five students have indeed completed this, the assignment. And I can click on any one of these assignments to take a look at their program.
So here I can see that Julian um, has done quite a bit of work on his maze game. Um, I can play it in the simulator and see what the maze looks like. And you can see it looks like it's a little worm who is trying to find his mom. Okay, and then um, within Teams, I can finish. I can enter in feedback here. So great job. Um, I can check the rubric, make sure that he has filled out um, or completed all of the different um, criteria, give him points for his assignment, and then return his assignment to him. And then I can move on to grade the next student's work. All right, thanks everyone for tuning in. And if you're an educator, we hope this new feature and capability will make it easier to use MakeCode in the classroom. Thanks so much.